ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Bill Fine. Today we have a brand new glove. You know what glove that is? That is the Quake Glove. 50 power, 17 speed. The ability is to shatter the ground. You see that little profile photo in the background, what kind of ability it's going to be. We need to get the blasting off again badge. Now, how do we get that? Let's see a screenshot real quick. All right, so we need to be using Berserk, get to full power, get launched by a woe into a fully charged home run swing. Interesting. Alrighty, so all we're doing here is we're spamming our E button as Berserk, waiting for the ability to hit his max which we have our little audio cue now we just need Klee to hit us with whoa and right here we need to get cleaned up nice perfect so let's go ahead and let's test out the quake glove so this has a really cool ability so it's like a nice explosion that happens to the ground i think the longer you might hold it the more it might do Oh, so it has that same ability as Home Run, where if you hold it down, it has the green thing that will pop up and show you when you're done and ready to smack down. So it has a lot of similarities to Baseball as well, or Home Run, as it will stop. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of threw me off. It will stop in the middle of an animation if you did, in fact, get hit. So it's just like Home Run, in that sense. That got me from so far away. So when you use the reverse, you get stuck in a hole. That's pretty funny. <laughs> this glove is pretty good for creating space. So if you have a bunch of people around you, this glove is definitely the move to like, you know, say like, all right, hey, get back, get away from me, clear some space. Yeah, this glove's perfect for that. Well, I guess if you're close enough to the center on a full charge, that's when you get hit. Get away from me. That's when you get hit into the ground and stuck. Yes, okay, so that did confirm it. If you're close enough to the epicenter, of a mass hit, you get stuck in these little things that get put into the ground. So it's like you're dug into the ground. Alrighty, so let's go for some counters. What would be the great first counter against this glove here? Thank you everybody, saying hello. I can definitely see extended being something that is pretty good here because this is again like home run. As soon as the user gets slapped, they're done with your, their ability. So you just hit them from a distance, and look at that, great counter. They can't get close to you, they can't pop their ability. They might be able to do it pretty quick off a of desync, but you should be able to just hit them off of their ability pretty fast and be okay. One more time, they're going for the ability. As soon as they pop it, just use the extended and you're good to go. There, there's no way. It's just too good of a counter. You could always ghost them. Ghost is fantastic. They can't see you coming. You just make sure you're there quick because <laughs> their ability is very fast. Uh, the stun glove. This, I don't think will take them out of their ability, but it'll make them stop chasing you. So yes, it'll help you create distance. As the stun user, if you are being chased by somebody who is about to use this, just pop your EMP. Now, they get their ability a lot faster than EMP, so be very weary, but it does work. Magnet, I see being a fantastic counter. Fantastic, because they could be pushing you, and all you'd have to do is wait for them to just use their ability and then just magnet and guess what gg wraps one hit and it's over believe it or not pusher is actually a counter in a way this is probably one of the worst counters that you could use because of how long this ability takes but i mean of course if you have a user that's charging you with this ability all you're gonna have to do is push out your pusher wall just throw out your pusher wall get them back away from you and you should be good to go but uh definitely don't recommend this one why it takes so incredibly long for this wall that it just won't be worth it in the long run but i don't recommend it it works but i just don't recommend it dream to run away and escape and get pokes in i guess could work Yes, the golden ability passes through. As we saw earlier, the golden's ability, while it's popped, will keep you safe. I wonder if you're using Cheeky, if you can sit underneath, like, the center mass hit and not get dug into the earth. Oh, no, you do get stuck into the earth. <laughs> that is hilarious. I don't think you're going to be taking a lot of knockback at all. Yeah, no, it reduces all knockback. So if they don't hit you center mass while they're cheeky, you're fine. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Cheeky's a great counter for this. Absolutely great. Because the worst thing that can happen is you get stuck into the earth for a couple seconds. Let's see, does the uh, replica clones, do they get attacked by this ability? I don't think that they... Oh, he was carrying him for a second. What the? I don't think that the ability hits clones. No, it does not. It can bypass this ability. So in a sense, Replica is a counter in a way. So reverse. Hello, Nonbug. This glove we've already seen. It should put the other users in the dirt. So yes, it'll set that own user into... Oh gosh, so much stuff. So much just happened. But yeah, it'll put them into the ground, into the dirt. So that's pretty cool. Oh, so even if it's like a small time hit, as long as the user with reverse has it active, no matter how big the hit, that user is getting hit into the dirt. Shiguchi. Shiguchi's a massive counter because you will always get the slap off. Always. Unless there's a massive amount of people around you. But yeah, this is a fantastic counter. As soon as they go to use it, well, when there's not 100 people around you, 
There we go. That's what I wanted to get. So, Shikuchi, fantastic counter, fantastic. Whoa, of course. What was a fantastic one? Use an, uh, an AoE against an AoE. Get them before they get you. So that definitely works. Just keep them at a distance. Biggest thing, always keep them at a distance while using this. Oh, we got two of them on that one. But yeah, you can see Woe is definitely a fantastic ability that will keep them away from you. So if you're using block, are you safe from the user if you are using blocks? I am going to go off a limb and say no. No, you are not safe. Oh, wow. So you are. Okay. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. What did I, what did I just get hit by? <laughs> I didn't even see a Larry. Yep. Perfectly safe if you have them blocked. That would make me believe that Buddies works as well. So blocked, hey, if you have one single user that's targeting you, <laughs> there you go, blocked is fantastic for it. You could always rocky them if you're good at throwing rocks at people. As soon as they come up to you, just chuck a gigantic boulder at them. That always works, you know? So just huck a rock at them. Stops their ability. <laughs> Oil's a fantastic counter. Anything with distance is going to be ideal. So even from a long distance away, you can hit the goobers so that they can't get you. So always just keep your distance between somebody who's using this ability. You should be a-okay. From way back there, you can get them. But yes, I'd go for Coil. That is a fantastic counter. You could always use Phantom to sneak up on them, but meh. A lot of people would say that the Stop Glove would be good, but I hate recommending this stuff. I don't know. Track and Table Flip, you could always- You could use both of these and just throw them at the user. That works. Thing I want to test is Shield. I want to test if Shield will keep you safe from the ability use. Oh, Shield as a counter! Wow, okay. That's good. Wow, Shield has not been a counter for quite a bit, so it's good to see that it is uh, actually a counter this time. Ping Pong could definitely be a great counter. Why? Because they have to be stationary, holding an ability for it to charge. What do you do? You look at them, and you throw a Ping Pong ball at their face. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Perfect counter. Baller could be a counter if there's not so many people. I can't test this out in my server because there's going to be too many people that hover me. But if you have somebody that's targeting you and you put down a baller, this could work as a defense if you're away from everybody. But again, I can't test it in this server. I'm going to get swarmed. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Whirlwind. Believe it or not, Whirlwind can be a counter. But the problem with this is you have to make sure that the user who's using it isn't next to somebody. Because if your Whirlwind hits somebody else that's not this user, then you're in trouble. But as soon as you hit them, they're out of their ability and they can't do anything about it. E. But that's the downside of Whirlwind right there. You saw somebody was close enough for me to proc the Whirlwind and slap. So not something that's viable, in my opinion. It works, just not good enough, you know? You could, of course, use the God's Hand with the brand new image on it. God's Hand works perfectly. All you have to do is either slap them normally or just use your ability, wait for time to stop, and then go and slap them. I don't really need to show you the God's Hand. You could also flex air or overkill the person. Most likely, you're not going to be one shot from this new glove. So one shots can counter it. Of course, you could use all the rocks to hide so you got diamond mega rock custom you have all of these gloves that you can use to hide from the ability that's being cast down so just go into the rock and guess what yep you're safe you're not gonna die you can always come out and be good after it's a rock you're not gonna die to a rock well unless you walk into it <laughs> you could use hollow jack but for this certain scenario i'm gonna bypass hollow jack let me know whether you think this should definitely be a counter or should not it'll be different for me because i have a lot of people that are using the ability and trying to help me counter so it won't be specific but if you have a single user that is targeting you hollow jack could definitely be something that counters very well if you can land the pumpkin that is phase of course phase skips everything i say this every time but phase is like the main counter for like everything you're safe with phase ain't no way you're getting hurt nobody gonna hurt you no Nobody's gonna hurt you with phase. <laughs> you're perfectly okay. Unless you walk into a rock while you're not in phase. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually gonna take the bomb glove off of the list of glows that count on this, only due to the fact that by the time that you get done pulling the bomb out of your pocket, and then you go to actually throw it at somebody, their ability is basically procced, and they're at the max they can use for the ability. So the timing of bomb makes this difficult. Don't recommend bomb. It works very well if you can get it beforehand, but the timing on how long it takes doesn't make this one for me. Let's try bubble. You could do a bubble a little bit faster than you could do a bomb. So, yep. Oh, you can actually send it like a bomb. That is hilarious. Shard. The ability takes quite a long time to proc, so this might be another bomb scenario. We'll compare it. So, by the time... Ah, uh, you have to be, like, right there on top of it. As soon, I mean, as soon as they use the ability. That is when you have to pop yours. So, let's see. 
any later and they're gonna be able to slap you this is a tough one they can get to you early as soon as they see that you used your ability they can actually release theirs and they have a little bit of time to where they can actually get away with it so i don't know shards 50 50 for me that's another one in the comment section i would like to see you could always bob them so, yep, one of those things where you're going to take the hit, but you're also going to get Bob on them. So, it semi sort of works, but I guess this is another one of those that are 50 50. Now we're on to buddies. This is the one that we have hopes for because of blocked. Buddies might be fantastic. You might be able to dodge a lot of moves. Well, let's see here. Oh, oh, buddies flopped. Oh, wait, JK. So, buddies, I believe, actually works. I don't know what I got hit by. Oh, yeah, fully safe. With buddies, this is a top counter. I don't know what happened beforehand, but yeah, even when they are fully charged up, yeah, fully safe from this. I guess, in a sense, you could trap them, but by the time that they're around you, you're not going to be able to hit it well, so I'm not including trap. Slapple. I wonder if you're safe while you're in a slapple tree. That I'm very curious of because of the AoE. No, you are not safe while using Slapple. <laughs> Could you use the Slapple's AoE to defend yourself? Absolutely. Slapple 100% could be used as a glove that as soon as you see them using their ability, you pop yours and you could knock them out of theirs. But it's just going to be on, it's going to be a fight on whoever can activate their ability fast enough. You could always use Larry with Rattlebones here because if you get hit by the AoE, does it make an enraged Larry? Oh, I think so. Uh, Larry seemed to be broken, so I'm having a bug where I don't see Larry. Everybody else sees it besides me. Yes, okay, so... If they are using the ability and hit you with the AoE, it will make an enraged Larry. So Rattlebones, in a sense, could be used as a counter deterrent. You're gonna get hit, but it's like the Bob Glove. You're, they're gonna have an after effect that follows them. You could definitely use Charge. Charge is a great counter. As soon as you see them using their ability, just charge right into them. Get them before they get you. Double whammy! Yeah, alright, you see though. Charge is fantastic. Glitch could work. Glitch could be an absolute counter. Eat him on up into the ability there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. You still get hit by the AoE if they release it. Because it won't stop them using their ability. But you do see that Glitch is definitely a counter that does work. Now Elude. I don't think Elude's gonna save you. Their base slap, yes. But the ability, no. I definitely don't see it. <gasps> really? I've been proven wrong so many times with this glove right now. <laughs> Yo, okay, so Elude is a counter. I thought for sure it wasn't. I was certain it wasn't. <laughs> so Elude's definitely top of the class on this one. Fishy fish. Of course, fish is going to be a fantastic counter for this. Anything that doesn't one-shot you automatically, oh yeah, fish is there for it. Like, if you don't get stuck into the ground, you just take knockback, just fling yourself back in. And then you can come back in here, you can party, right? Fish works very, very, very well. My final Final statement for flamering is I don't know it takes too long for me to really want to say it is so I'm not gonna list it it's more about like a, a 30 70 split on wanting to call it a counter let me know what your decision is on this but I'm not gonna add it kinetic works for the one-time knockback save this is gonna save you if you do get hit by knockback you just pop yourself the kinetic and guess what you're back you're not flying off the edge but this glove doesn't have that much of a knockback anyway so you really wouldn't need to use kinetic to save yourself from the knockback if you know what i'm saying so boogie i'm interested to see if we'll stop the ability now it doesn't stop home runs so if it's using that same kind of ability where it ticks green i don't think it's gonna stop this either no i see it's still proccing yeah so boogie is not a counter and of course you could always use a quake glove against a quake glove the one-on-ones on those always work you just got to be faster and better Built different <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this go out get yourself this brand new glove let me know what you think about it it's pretty fun it can be kind of tedious getting it but as soon as the people in the lobby start to understand what's really going on i think that they'll get it it's what kind of took place in my lobby but i could see that happening for a lot of lobbies where people don't really understand it at first but it's 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 pretty easily obtained with the right people but ladies and gentlemen thank Thank you so much for watching good luck getting this glove and i will catch you in the next one shout out to everybody in this lobby right now that you see on your screen amazing people see you in the next one later <laughs>